Hello everyone, we are back with October's Witch Casket, which I think they said is usually the most popular one for obvious reasons. So here we go, we're going to get into this today. So let's have a look. Manifestation Magic for October 2022. Mm. So I'll pop it over here like I always do. And I will get rid of that, we'll look at that later. So first thing on top is the print. Ooh, that's cool. That's really nice for this month. And it is an exclusive. Then, ooh, okay, I think this is, I'll let you guys look first. Oh, what's that on it? I'll get rid of that. I think this is a journal. Let's have a look inside. Oh, look, orange ribbon. Let's look inside. Okay, so here we go. So we have date, I am manifesting, practical things I could do to manifest my desired outcome, magical things I can do to manifest my desirable outcome, uh, and then you've got another page over there, it's nice quality paper, and there's quite a few pages. I love the detail. Can you see the hands? Lovely, and then it's lovely, it looks embossed, it's not, it's lovely paper and details for that light on is just beautiful as always with a nice orange there and then you've got it's black all the way around and there's a lot of pages a lot of pages in here I mean a lot of pages so that's that that's right nice just plain on the back next item is the ritual or spell kit here we go a uh, candle manifestation ritual, which contains all you need to do the spell. Next we have this. Interesting. Witch casket magical intentions deck. Is it going to be a magnetic box again? Magical aid to manifestation. Oh God, this. Oh no, it's not. Hold on, is it? A, See, every time I get weird with these, I'm like, ah, listen, listen, listen. Oh, so satisfying. Really like the new boxes and these new magnetic things. What is your desire? Let's have a look inside here. So here we go. Lots of different cards. All have the same backing. There we go. Let's have a look. I'm just going to take a couple of cards out. Acceptance. Sorry, I'm looking and not holding the camera. Charisma. And the last one I'm going to pick out is this one. And it is Adventures. So they're nice in a lovely box. Really nice box. A little bit of damage on mine, but that's sometimes happens. So that's those. I'm just going to pop them back in there. They're real nice. Next item is I can see an organza bag and it's ringing. <laughs> we have a little. So that sounds really nice. A little bell. An altar bell. And it's a nice size one too. Hold on. Sounds real good as well. It's not tinny like some of them can be. That's quite nice. Mm -hmm. A spell candle holder. Let's see what this is like. Look at the packaging. Amazing. It's like oh, beautiful. Let's read the book. Uh, hold on. Okay. Right. And then let's get this out. Ooh, really. Simple but pretty. That is really nice. Simple candle holder. Ooh, don't drop it. Okay, so this is the next thing I've picked out. And without looking at the card, I've got a feeling that there's a theme going on at the minute. Because to me, it's a beautiful wire wrapped necklace, which is a skill in itself. It looks to me like natural citrine. And um, 
you never used to be able to really see you never used to get like natural citrine very often you'd get heat treated amethyst which was made sort of like a bright yellow but you wouldn't actually see natural citrine and is this the third box you'll have to watch my videos but is this the third box in a row that i've had a natural citrine not that i'm complaining because i love it but yeah all of a sudden there's natural citrine everywhere so yeah on a lovely necklace again i'll have to lengthen it for me but nice wire wrapped citrine bring happiness and joy and here's the card if anyone wants to read it you can just pause Next, well, oh, this is a really well done box. Ooh, money, money, money. <laughs> um, next, we have a pyrite. That's got to be pyrite, polished pyrite. I've got lots of rough natural pyrite. I like to use them in money spells. I have a money bowl that I have a nice big chunk of it in. But I don't think I've got any pebbles and I've got a big crystal collection. So that's quite nice to have a tumble. Oh, hey. Pyrite, and if anyone wants to read about pyrite, there you go. It's a fantastic thing to have, or fool's gold. And then here we go, here's the pin. Ooh, pin. That's a really nice pin again. Spin, yeah. And the artwork, as always, on the back is just as amazing. There we go. So that's that. That's got to be it because that's a really full. Oh no! Oh, oh no! It's not the end. Not it. Next we have the scroll. Let me see. And I've got a dodgy fingernail at the minute, so let me just see if I can get this off. And if you haven't noticed, I'm left-handed, so I'm trying to do this with my right hand. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. Now I'll have a quick look. Moon phases for manifestation. So again, as I always say, if you want to have all the information on these scrolls, you become a member, you're given a code, and then you can go into the Emporium and you can buy all of the old, the past casket, not old, past casket um, scrolls. Then we have the incense, which is back. We have a bewitching blend of patchouli and orange. I love that combination. So there we go. That's got to be it. Yeah, and that's it. So I'm going to get all this together and then we can have a chat about it. Okay, everybody, so we're back. Here are all the items from this box. And here is our little cheat sheet booklet, which, again, they never cut corners. Because first page, you always get some amazing artwork. How beautiful is that? Sorry about my light. And in the back, they always pick three pictures from Insta and they go on the back. So there we go. Greetings magical witches. We hope that the contents of our October casket help you with your magical manifesting and that you all feel empowered to visualise your goals and make them a reality. We have had so much fun creating this for you and we send it with all our love and positive energy. And at the end it says until next time be well Deb and Ella and I'm just going to pop that there so you can read the first page if you want to. So, all together we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 items and I think they're all exclusive this time again. It's been a lot of purely exclusive ones, isn't there lately? Yep, all exclusive. So let's go through the items. First of all, we have the Magical Incantations deck, which is here. The Manifestation Spell Candle Holder, which is here. And you can use the dish around the edge to put herbs. Um, or blends or anything that you need to um, include in your spell. You have the Magical Altar Bell. You have the Manifestation Book. You have the Natural Royal Citrine Pendant. So I was right, that was Citrine. Um, then we have the Ritual Kit, which I've just popped up here under there. That includes an orange candle, rosemary, dandelion leaf and full instructions. Then you have the Moon Phases for Manifestation Parchment Scroll, which is here. Then you've got the Pyrite Crystal, an info card, which is there. Then we have the Manifestation Incense. Um, then we have an Opulent Pentacle Pin, which is here. Then we have a Magical Manifestation Art Print, which is here. And that is this month's box. Pretty full box. 
I'm not going to lie, it's not my favourite box. Uh, not that I am don't love it or anything like that. I'm not disappointed at all whatsoever. Um, the quality of the boxes, this last, what, six, seven boxes have been ridiculously high. And this one just doesn't quite hit that mark that the others have, but the, the, the you know, it's been such high sort of barrier to break for this one because they've all been so good I mean sort of seven eight months ago if this one came through I'd be going this is the best one but the, the, the quality has been so high it's not quite there for me was the other ones without a doubt usually I would say that the, the uh, book would be my favorite item but without a shadow of a doubt it's these cards in this deck this deck is stunning so that is definitely my favourite item. Um, and again, the old spell, if that had been in a different kit, I probably would have gone with that because that is gorgeous and it doesn't sound tinny. A lot of them sound tinny, if that makes sense. Least favourite item I'm probably going to say is the candle holder just because I have so many. And there's been a lot lately and it's just not the prettiest compared to quite a few of the others I've got. But obviously it's a very practical one. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to say. It's nice to have the incense again. I am missing my tea though, ladies. I really am missing my tea. But it's a really lovely box. Definitely worth the £29. You know, that includes postage, guys. That You know, again, no corner is cut with this. The artwork is stunning. Stunning artwork on everything I mean you know they don't ever cut corners it's just a beautiful beautiful box which I love having every month um, I've seen the theme for next month which I'm really looking forward to it's something that um, something that is going to be very useful for me so yeah really like it not my favourite out of the last sort of six seven maybe eight boxes but the standard is so high um it's beautiful anyway um i hope you are well and until next time guys i'm sending you brightest blessings goodbye <laughs>